Hello, and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Today, we're with Brandon and Rachel Cotrer, a ranching couple from Texas whose roots run deep and wide in America's beef industry. Brandon is the owner of BR Cotrer Incorporated, the couple's semen, cattle, and branded beef operation. And Rachel is the founder of Ranch House Designs, a prominent ag marketing firm. Together, the Cotrers have built strong brands of agricultural innovation for themselves, and their customers. So B.R. Cotrere is one of the nation's largest registered Brahmin seed stock cattle operations, and we are located along the Texas Gulf Coast, about an hour south of Houston. The ranch is owned by my husband, Brandon, and I, along with our two daughters, Molly and Annie. And we also operate Ranch House Designs, which is a livestock advertising agency that I founded in the late 90s. BRC is a relatively new brand in the Brahmin cattle business, but we aren't new to ranching at all. My ancestors were some of the pioneers that actually brought and developed the American Brahmin here in the United States. And for the first 10 years of Brandon and my marriage, we spent working alongside my grandfather just trying to soak up you know all that good practical ranching knowledge that we could and to be able to incorporate that into our own family operation one day. So we started BRC in the fall of 2019 and when we got married we owned zero acres of land and we owned six cows and so tradition really matters a lot to us, but innovation and progress also matter a lot too. And I like to think of ourselves as a new era in ranching because we believe that with hard work and with dedication, your dreams in ranching can come true and we're living proof of that. People ask us a lot, how did y'all get to where y'all are starting with nothing to you know, having your own operation that has a national prominence in just 10 years. And if I had to characterize that, I would say first, it would be God's blessings and, you know, our faith in God's plan for the path that he's put us on. Also, I feel like you have to be willing to put in the hard work, the time and the money to build a ranching operation. But from that, it would have to be the support of mentors and friends and the great team that we have here at BRC that has made it all possible. Things like friendships and relationships in the cattle business mean so much to us because yes, the seed stock cattle business is about raising outstanding cattle. That's definitely true and we strive for that every day. But to me, it's almost more about doing right by others Others and building those solid relationships and running your cattle business with integrity so that we can use the blessings that we have to help someone else down the line. Everyone here at BRC has that same passion for Brahmin cattle that we do. We love Brahmin cattle, but more importantly, we love helping people and we love getting to know people and we love sharing those talents that we have to help use our Brahmin cattle to build someone else's dream. You know, if there's three things that we love, it's God, people, and Brahmin cattle. And ranching here at BRC allows us to enjoy all three of them. Number one, just being in God's creation and being a, a, allowed to be a steward of that creation is a big joy to us, where we're able to put forth our best work for the glorification of Him. And then also being involved uh, in the people side of the business. You never know who's gonna walk through the door from any part of the world. So it's very interesting, uh, just the contacts that you make and the being able to share fellowship and love and kindness uh, with people all around the world is just a wonderful feeling and being able to share experiences with those people. And then of course, Brahmin cattle. You know, of course, there is the, the family heritage there that we really enjoy, but also just the, the wonderful attributes that the Brahmin breed brings to the table. You know, everybody realizes that Brahmins are heat tolerant, they're pest resistant, they're long lived, but just being able to always work and try to improve those cattle and always ask the question of how can we make it better just brings a lot of joy to us. You know, we've been able to assemble a team of young professionals here at, at the ranch who truly enjoy what they love to do. They have a, a strong work ethic uh, and, and just have been blessed with many talents. And so being able to, to bring that group together who are highly motivated, ambitious, and are always asking the question, how can we make it better, just brings a lot of joy to us. We appreciate the, the ability to, to be involved in the cattle industry and just be involved in Brahmin cattle. People ask us all the time, why Brahmin? And 
when I, we got involved and started buying cattle together, Brahman was just, the smart money is on the Brahman cattle. And we realized that to get to the top of the breed, the front of the class, we wanted to be on the registered end of it. Bring that knowledge that we'd used in the horse business, the genetics, um, the mating, and kind of bring that fast forward to the cattle business. And that's what we've been able to do. And it's really served us well. In any business, it's all about relationships. So when we developed, started developing and building our Brahman herd, it was just made sense to go to the top. And really, Brandon and Rachel at B. Arcatrer have just been great allies, great friends, great partners. And you can kind of plug into their program at any point, any place that you feel comfortable or that just suits your program. We own the Captain Bull, the 518 over one bull with them, and numerous other cattle, donor cows. For Nancy and I, when we begin to buy more cattle and get involved, we realized the Brahman cattle down here in the Gulf Coast region it was really the smart money because all the breeds that, that make it down here have to be Brahman influenced. And we're like, well, if you're going to have Brahman influenced cattle, why don't we go straight to the source and just have the Brahman cattle? It made more sense. And we wanted to have the best of the best be the front of the class. And that's where we've ended up and we've really enjoyed it. It's taken time, takes money, takes a lot of hard work, just some tremendous people, tremendous relationships. But the Brahman cattle for us, they got in our eye and they're still there. And we love those cattle. Cattle are really gentle, they adapt really well. They like big country, they like to travel. They're just outstanding cattle. We raise um, beef calves, um, predominantly on F1 Brayford cows, and then also some F1 Brangus cows and some Brangus type cows. We also background those calves before we send them to the feedlot and get them grown out. Our um, Cows that are the F1 Brayfords tend to be our best cows on the place. They, they raise a bigger calf. They tend to be heat tolerant. Their mothering ability is impeccable. We just weaned some steers that weighed 747 pounds at weaning from our F1 Brayford cows and Angus bulls. So the cross really works well for us. We started raising our own F1 Brayford heifers about 11 years ago because we couldn't find enough to supply us, so we, we raise all of our own and keep them for ourselves and put them into the cow herd. And they tend to be our best cows on the place. I met Brandon and Rachel 11 years ago, and um, Brandon helped me find a bull, two bulls actually, and every year that I've needed a bull, I always can call him and he's there and he gets me what I need, and we've been very happy with the bulls that we've got from them. They've had longevity, and they've done very well with our crossbreeding program. Our main goal here at BRC is to blend tradition with innovation, and one of the ways that we found to become innovative is we partnered with Zoetis to become the first Brahmin breeders to have the availability of genomically enhanced EPDs. What these EPDs allow is for us to compile their pedigree information, their progeny information, and phenotype, and combine it with their DNA information to give our customers the most accurate EPDs on the market. We've got bulls available at our bull development facility year round that have been fertility tested and start at 5,000 and go up. So whether you're a commercial cattleman looking to walk bulls on commercial cows along the Gulf Coast or another seed stock producer looking to beef up your genetics, BRC's got you covered. Up next. The modern Brahmin are exceptional in their udder quality and feet quality and cattle that are improved in their carcass value. See why modern BR Catrer Brahmin cattle are raising eyebrows around the world. That story is after the break here on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Brahmin cattle were developed long ago to excel in heat and insect tolerance. The benefits of Brahmin and crossbreeding programs are well known, but the Cotreras have developed their Brahmin cattle to add impressive carcass merits to the breed's lists of attributes. So here at BRC, we like to breed what we call the modern Brahmin, focused on the, the tried and true traits of Brahmin, where you've got your heat tolerance, pest resistance, and longevity. We're gonna add to that a little bit. Breed character is important to us, but we're looking for cattle that are above average in their muscling, cattle that are exceptional in their udder quality and feet quality, and cattle that are improved in their carcass value, whether it be marbling or tenderness, so by being able to incorporate all these traits and bring it all up and improve it all at the same time, that's where we're thinking the, the modern Brahmin is. And then they're gonna be nice to look at too. Cattle that have balance and functionality and overall structural design and, and just give you a real nice pretty look that you expect to see out of a Brahmin cow. 
And I think that's a game changer that we've got going on here at BRC because we can take our Brahmin genetics and send them anywhere across the world to improve the beef industry and the protein business in those respective countries. BRC genetics have been real popular around the world, winning shows in Mexico, Costa Rica, and Colombia, along with several others. BRC is also home to the most national and international champion females of the last decade in the Brahmin breed. And in, in ranching and showing, that's pretty much impossible to do, right? Being able to sell 100 commercial bulls a year that appeal to that grassroots rancher, but then also breeding cattle with enough style and look for the show ring as well. And I really attribute that to Brandon and his vision for taking performance first and then trying to blend in those looks that subtly are needed for the show ring. We tend to focus on performance first, but also if we're going to a show, I dang near want to have a chance to win. And so showing is great for us because it allows us to work with youth in the 4-H and FFA programs, and it also allows us to get our genetics out there and showcase them to the world and we're noticing a lot of breeders who are wanting to get in on this new type of Brahmin that we're raising. We are a, I would say, a moderate size uh, Brahmin operation. We run anywhere between 100 and 120 head of registered Brahmin cows. I guess in the last four or five years, we've really kind of uh, started taking in some outside cattle from breeders that had sold cattle, uh, very reputable breeders that put their trust in us, thank goodness. Their clients in turn contacted us to haul some of their Brahmin cattle. And just by the graces, we, we've been very fortunate. When Brandon and Rachel put the uh, pick of the three bulls that included the Jumanji bull, that's when our partnership with BRC began, and the rest is history, I guess. We hauled Jumanji all the way through the show season, and he was one of the most consistent show bulls on the road, and still is. The cattle that they put in our hands were very good, and yes, we have a, a, a distinct opportunity here as a purebred operation to both sell to junior clients and to other breeders, but these cattle are phenomenally known for their crossbreeding ability. We are a phenomenal breeding piece for crossbreeding programs, whether you put those cattle on Angus or Hereford or any of the exotic breeds that go along with that, their crossbreeding ability is, is second to none. Our family's been in business here since 1857. I'm the sixth generation to operate the ranch alongside my uncle, Philip, who is the fifth generation. We've uh, been through so many breeds over the years, Hereford, Angus, and we've, we've, we've settled on Simmental and Simbra now. When I started looking at my Simbra herd about 10 years ago, I was looking at where I was going to be with them several generations down the road, and I knew that we needed to start breeding up some new bloodlines. And when I started thinking about bringing in the Brahmin genetics. I wanted to work with Brandon and Rachel. They were the logical choice for me for sourcing my Brahmin genetics for my Simbra project. Because of their commitment to performance testing, they are progressive breeders using all the tools available to them to make better cattle. And when I told them about what I wanted to do with this project, what my goals were, they totally got it and guided me on the right path as far as Brahmin genetics and where they could see my vision and where I wanted to go and were able to help me with that. Collecting performance data is uh, essential in our herd and part of everything that we do here from birth to carcass ultrasound. And uh, our customers have come to rely and expect that we do that for them. And they, uh, they view us as a trusted source because we do go through all the rigors of the performance testing. And they know what we're sending to them is what we say it's going to be. And that's why we've relied on uh, B. Architraire for our Brahmin genetics is because of their commitment to performance testing as well. After the break. We've gone full force with Ranch House. They, they do a phenomenal job. Learn how Rachel's company, Ranch House Designs, is helping improve the bottom line for ranchers by improving their marketing strategies. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us.
Welcome back to The American Rancher. In addition to working with Brandon in their cattle operation, Rachel Cotrere is the CEO of Ranch House Designs, a marketing firm that specializes in developing marketing tools for ranches and ag businesses worldwide. Ranch House Designs is another portion of our family of brands, and it is a livestock-oriented advertising agency that's also based here in Wharton, Texas. I started this business in the late 90s um, as a way to offer web design for ranches. And over the last 20 years, it's grown to include a team of 15 talented marketing professionals based here out of Wharton, Texas. And currently we do so much more than websites. We do logo designs, website designs. We can set up online stores for ranchers to sell their products or beef online. We also help with social media and we even do printed advertisements like sale catalogs and really anything that you could envision to market your brand, we do. And the thing I think that has made Ranch House so successful is that we work with ranchers, but we are ranchers and we get it. We know what it's like to be super stressed before your sale and we also know the importance of budgeting throughout the year. And so when you work with Ranch House, you're really working with a team who knows and understands your business and is putting all of our passion into helping promote your business and grow your business and sales. Going back to our family's heritage and the brand that's behind our heritage, um, we, we stepped out into a different business, and that's the retail business. Um, Steve and I own South Texas TAC, and we've really tried to carry our brand, the Bar Nothing brand, as our logo of the business. And we've worked with Ranch House Designs, and they've just done a phenomenal job for South Texas TAC with helping us build our brand and our logo and getting us exposed to that side of the marketing. Sometime in early January, maybe December, uh, we kind of took a, a step and looked at what we're, the direction we were going and we wanted a new design for Walter's Livestock. So we contacted Rachel and Ranch House and the folks there and uh, visited with them a little bit and they said, well, you know, tell us what you want. And so we kind of told them and we sent them a picture. The Ranch House folks took that and, and made that rebel outline with our brand on her and then with the Walters Livestock. I mean, we literally just told them what we wanted, sent them a picture and they came up with the options. And as they say, the rest is history. And uh, we're very, very happy uh, with our logo. And they're also designing our website and, and everything. We've gone full force with Ranch House. They, they do a phenomenal job. Even though Ranch House Designs has been in business for over 20 years, we are still building new websites and designing new logos every single day. I still like to start every new client relationship with a personal call with me so that I can listen to your brand story, get to know your goals, and then use my expertise to help match you up with the best person on the Ranch House team to help execute your vision. I also think it's really important to keep our pricing fair both to us as the agency, but fair and affordable to the rancher. Our logo designs range from $500 to $800, and our websites start at $1,000. And so this allows a rancher to set a budget for their advertising plan through the year and stick to it without any surprises. So if you've been thinking about taking your operation to the next level for your marketing, I would love to set up a call with you. You can go to ranchhousedesigns.com, click on the button that says request a quote, and then let's set up a call to talk about it and let me learn more about your business and see if we'd be a good fit for working together. So Brandon and I are very proud to have four different agriculture businesses and brands that allow us to showcase our passions for the beef industry and also helping others. From our Brahmin Country Genetics business, that allows us to sell semen and embryos to ranchers here in the United States and worldwide that want to utilize Brahmin genetics. Then you bring in our BRC Ranch operation that allows us to sell live cattle all across the world to adults and to youth exhibitors. And then taking that even one step further, our Brahmin Country Beef brand really is the outlet that lets all the efforts that we've put 
put in in the last 10 years really shine by offering a great tasting, high quality Brahmin beef product to consumers all across the USA. And then finally, Ranch House Designs is the brand that kind of allows us to share that story for others, to help put your ranch in the spotlight and help build your success. So if we can help you in any way through any of these branches of our business, we'd be glad to. Through great customer service, we're offering a, uh, what we feel is a, is a high quality product through our Brahmin cattle. Please feel free to call us, email us, text us, whatever you want to do to get in contact with us. We'd also love to have you out here at the ranch just to show you around and show you our operation and just share friendship and, and, and God's love with everyone we come in contact with. That's all the time we have today. We hope you enjoyed this show. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.